Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are doing the 20th mission of the Syria war campaign. And so today what we are going to do is we are going to take the F-18 out and we're going to strike both the early warning radar system that they have as well as a SA-11 site. Um, and this is just off to the, what would that be, the east of Abu al do her. Um, so what we're going to try to do is degrade their ability uh, to do essentially missions in the area by wiping out these two assets here. Um, there are other assets, obviously, like um, you know the oil platforms and these you know, these warehouses and things. From an economic perspective, uh, you know the red team does not have much left. Um, we have a strong advantage over them and the air superiority piece is going to be a big deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two, two out and try to get back as fast as we can. Once we get back, um, that's when we're going to probably try to do some cap um, to degrade some of the air assets. So the issue that we have is that, you know, until we've managed to um, severely degrade their air capabilities, they're going to continue to be a problem because they're dumping most of their money into air-to-ground assets. And so we need to make sure that we're able to degrade that. So we'll stop here, and we'll see you shortly in-game. Hey, everyone. Welcome to uh, the mission. So we are just starting up our jet now. Go ahead and get thing things set up. We wait for our engines to start up. Go. Go ahead and set up our recovery fuel here. I guess our bingo. I think it will be 5,000. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and close our cockpit too. Go. Don't want to listen to it, you know. All right, so again, the game plan is is we're gonna go bombing, do a little, little bombing action. Should get stuff coming online now. Oh. Flight controls. Flight controls. Got an engine up. Go into our stores. Go to the JSAO. And we're going to start the timer. So it takes what? It takes a couple of minutes before it ticks down to 730 for our timing. May as well power up the, the JSAOs now. Um, I recognize that we definitely have time to get um, the Jace House powered up over the course of the flight, but may as well just start that process now. Now, there, in reality, there's probably a reason not to do that. Maybe sitting on the ground with your INS alignment and everything else is not a good time to spin up your essentially an INS alignment and whatever else that's going on inside of the Jace House, but. I don't really care. It's a game. And it lets me do that without any consequences, so we're going to do it. All right, we've got the. Looks like we're going to start our stored deployment. There's our probe over there. 
their speed break too. I just saw it go down. Got both of our engines up, and now I think we're going to be waiting for our full blown INS alignment. Which is going pretty quick. Parametric altitude on and be yeah, yeah. close. We've got our data link is on, so we just need to wait for INS to complete and we can get going. Like, and also tell the tower we're gonna leave. No, you're not going to respond to that? That's fine. I'm going to go taxi anyway, so I don't really care. You good? Yeah, we're good. Alright, time to get out of here. Alright, so I want to go to menu. I want to go to essay page. We're going to go to like... 160. And we are... Out of here. Nose wheel steering on. are quite the aircraft all right so we're out of here so i know that we're gonna go off to the left let's tell this guy what we're doing let's try to one one. Why don't you try again i'm gonna do it anyway but you know done If we follow this around, this will get us to the runway. I feel like I've gotten used to Damascus and Ramat David. The ship been flying from those two bases for 28 missions. I have not played much of the other maps. I need to play... I haven't played much of the free map, actually. The Caucasus. I haven't played much of that at all, to be honest. Which I'm sure is a great map, but I haven't played a lot of it. I've played mainly Syria. Um, Alright, this looks like a fun one. Alright, we're going to take off. Off we go. Oh, don't, don't crash. Don't do it. Don't do it. Alright, we're up. to auto. We need to get high. Okay. It's 
just make sure we're going in the right direction. We need to go. My thing, yeah. We need to go. What would that be? 26. Get up in the air, too. Alright, so we gotta set that up. 25. 25's good. Um, we are doing target of opportunity. Um, let's figure this out. Um, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and okay. So we're going to start with that one. Oh wow. You're just... Slow as heck. Alright. So let's set the altitude hold. Autopilot. Altitude hold, please. Thank you. So this is prior EWR, that's nothing. So that's EWR and then that's the other stuff. Okay, that works. All right, so we're going to target of opportunity. I'm gonna set everything to target of opportunity. And E-fuse instant step, E-fuse instant. Well, I guess we can just take a look. Okay, works for me. Target of opportunity, target of opportunity, target of opportunity, target, target of opportunity. Oh, we're all out. Go. Some nice fluffy clouds today. Oh, I've got lights on. Let's turn those off. That, turn them off. Excellent. Gonna bring this back. Good enough. All right, we're gonna waypoint designate number one here. 150 miles away. Turn into air to ground mode. We're gonna go higher. We're gonna turn off our autopilot. Wanna get up to 30,000. Wow, these are really nice clouds. <laughs> nice big fluffy clouds. So the reason I'm trying to get a little higher is for the fuel economy. I know that as I get into thinner air, I will indeed get better efficiency for my engines. And I think that that's primarily because of drag. I'm fairly certain that since this is an air breathing engine that my, I think if I remember correctly, my specific impulse of the engine actually decreases above a certain altitude. It's kind of like the antithesis of a rocket engine, right? Rockets are more efficient when there's a lot less atmosphere. But I am not a rocket scientist, so take that commentary with a grain of salt. Figure this out. Um, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Okay. So we're going to start with that one. Oh, wow. You're just slow as heck. All right. So let's set the altitude hold. Autopilot, altitude hold, please. Thank you. So this is prior EWR. That's nothing. So that's EWR and then that's the other stuff. Okay, that works. All right, so we're going to target of opportunity. I'm gonna set everything to target of opportunity. And E fuse instant step, E fuse instant. Well, I guess we can just take a look. Okay, works for me. Target of opportunity, target of opportunity, target of opportunity, target, target of opportunity. Oh, we're all out. Go. Some nice fluffy clouds today. Oh, I've got lights on. Let's turn those off. That, turn them off. Excellent. Bring this back. Good enough. All right, we're gonna waypoint designate number one here. 150 miles away. Turn into air to ground mode. We're gonna go higher. We're gonna turn off our autopilot. Wanna get up to 30,000. Wow, these are really nice clouds. <laughs> nice big fluffy clouds. So the reason I'm trying to get a little higher is for the fuel economy. I know that as I get into thinner air, I will indeed get better efficiency for my engines. And I think that that's primarily because of drag. I'm fairly certain that since this is an air breathing engine that my, I think if I remember correctly, my specific impulse of the engine actually decreases above a certain altitude. It's kind of like the antithesis of a rocket engine, All right? Rockets are more efficient when there's a lot less atmosphere. But I am not a rocket scientist, so take that commentary with a grain of salt. I'm having some issues with my uh, USB controller today, and it's kind of annoying. I'm having it disconnect a couple of times. I don't know what the deal is. I've been having it recently. I actually tried to do a registry edit to see if I could, because the, the error is, you know, so-and-so app ID has insufficient permissions to look at whatever and I, uh, I made an edit to make sure that if it was my user that it would have full control of the USB peripherals didn't seem to help 
Hopefully it is not a DCS problem. We're going to continue to increase our altitude a little bit here. I think my best my best bet is about 70 miles. So what we're going to do is we'll drop drop one on this and then we're going to back down. It's our 95 sort mill power. Okay, good. All right. We're not going to be very effective against those MIGs. I mean, they're MiG-21, so I'm, you know, I'm fairly certain that I can BVR them before they can get me, but the mission here is not shoot down the MiG-21s. Okay, so we're Did it really just start my JSAW over again? That is so annoying. Jeez, that is really annoying. All right, well. So we'll just wait until it re tests itself. We're at 35, so we'll hit our altitude hold here. All 30, 34. We're conning, but I don't know if I really care all that much. All right. So vexing. We kind of want to split the difference here between this and the other. Oh, let's go to 80. Okay, 80, we're fine. 80 is probably the bigger. So what here? Um, interesting to me is that number is different than this number. I wonder if I've killed the, <laughs> the Hornet again. Oh no, not, not again. Then 80 miles. Another oh, SU-417. Okay, so those are bomber aircraft or ground strike aircraft. I don't think the SU-17 has a lot of air-to-air -air capabilities, so we're probably safe. All of those are ready. Oh, so that's time to minimum release or maximum release. It's eight minutes. Increase my speed a little bit. really concerned about those guys. How far are they away? 60 miles. really don't want to shoot at them. If they get into my 40 mile perimeter, I'll take a shot. I think we can 
we can at least take a shot at them at that point. Increase our output, our engine output here. Don't want to be on the blower. 90%, uh, even on the... It must be because we're at 34, 35,000 feet. All right, so we're six minutes away from these guys. Oh, someone's, someone's angry and coming. Make 25s, huh? Yep. And then make 25. Wow. There's some MiG 21s, right? You guys are in the air. Yeah, they are. Alright. Brighten us up on that. Oh, a ways away. 40 miles, huh? Five minutes. Three thousand feet. Fifteen thousand. All right. Make a four bar. Three forty one. Degree, can I do 60? I can. Yep. All right, what do we got? No lock. Come on. Give me a lock. Right there. Right there. No. Nothing. 33 miles away, man. Is that 19? I really shouldn't be doing this. But it's fun, so we're gonna do it anyway. Keep losing them. Can you please, like, stay locked for more than like ten seconds? That would be like amazing. I would be so appreciative if you could do an STT on this idiot. As I box three M, just like that. Now, stay just right there for me.
We'll go off to the right a little bit. Ugh, really? Locking something up. No idea if it's gonna actually hit anything. Doing something. It's maneuvering of some kind. I see that guy. You you're not maneuvering against him, I hope. Nope, you got something. Good on you, lad. Box three. I found myself merged with things that I don't want to be merged with, but that's okay. Oh, please get him. Go after him. Oh man, all you had to do is run... Oh, I think he notched it. I think he notched it. Look at him, he notched it. Alright, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> I've had enough fun. We gotta get up. Hopefully he doesn't take too much offense of us uh, shooting at his buddies. Eh, he looks like he's too busy going after somebody. I think we're all out of Amrams too, so we gotta get, we gotta make these count. A minute and 30 seconds. Alright, we're getting, we're getting there. Alright, so it's gonna be one and then... A minute. Since we're in final approach, we are gonna take in the afterburn shortly. seconds. After burner on. Five degree incline. Alright, ten seconds. We're in range. You're master cautioning me. I don't know why, but you are. Alright, so we're gonna wait a few seconds. One away. Alright, we are gonna step down. Designate. Two. Down. Designate. Three. Down. Designate. Four. Down. Designate. Five. Down. Designate. Six. Down. Designate. Seven. Okay, and then we'll hit the last one one more time for good measure. Alright, we are off. We gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, what way are we going? I think I can land at TS. 
I don't see any of his brothers and sisters, so... Better tell T.S. we're on our way. We can hit this button. Get all that shit off of us. In real theater, they'd probably be pissed off if I dropped all of those, because they probably cost something like a hundred thousand dollars. But in DCS, they're free. So who cares? Let's take a look at our, our babies. Babies. Nice. Fourteen miles, nineteen miles. This will hit the first. We'll hit first. All right, let's check where we are. We still got a ways to go. We are fifty-eight miles away from all the excitement. Let's watch this one as it comes through the clouds. Let's put on the 8,000 feet. It's going 500 knots. That is not a small number of knots. That looks like it's going to hit the radar station, too. Going into final approach. Bad day for the radar station. Ouch. Got the radar station. We'll pick one of these guys here so that we can watch them all hit. Already starting to hit, huh? Uh, you. the other ones beyond this one but yeah I see it just over the just over those trees there on the other side of that forest they're popping up I do not know if they're smart enough to not hit the forest they may let's see what it hits Are they not exploding? Oh, that's annoying. They didn't explode. I wonder, wonder why. The other one did. Maybe the fuses weren't set right? I, I think I know. Well, you know what? Where are we? We're getting close, right? Yeah, alright, let's 
fallen. PPC. That one. Inbound. Springfield. One, one. Inbound. Well, we're going to load up again, but this time I do want to dis I, I have to disable that. We've gone through so much. I feel robbed. All right, let's lower our autopilot. We'll turn all that off. Excellent. We're going to start down. All right. Such a bummer. Such a bummer. We did get the early warning radar system, but I don't think we got the other stuff. Let's just hope I can land this in one piece. Altitude. Altitude. Two thirty nine.
This way a little bit. I don't have visual on the, on the airport yet. Be about one forty. Ah, that looks like it. Got visual. Let's just hope we can make this work and not die. Do not die. Almost there. Too low. Get up. Get it. Right there. Bring it down. Bring it down. Come on. Come on. That's pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Right. Better than I've ever done. Come on. Come on. Got it. Probably ruined my gear again. Yep, I ruined my gear again. That's excellent. Let's get off off to the side. Start shutdown procedures. Go ahead and pull the brake. Yep. Oh, pull the. Can you? Please pull the brake. No. Just pull down the brakes, I guess. Well, that was disappointing. That was uh, less than good mission. All right. Well, we'll see in debrief as my. Stuff disconnects again. This was such a bummer. All right. Well, that was a bit of a wash of a mission. Um, actually, I would I would argue to say that maybe we lost that mission. It looks like overall, big picture, only one SU-17 was destroyed, which is probably the one that we shot at. Well, one of the two that we shot at, because the other one managed to notch it. And then we had a J, like our team had a JF-17 get destroyed, which I'm 
pretty sure a JF-17 is probably more costly than a SU-17. And then a, a BMP was destroyed. We also managed to hit the early warning radar system that is gone, but we were totally not successful with the uh, the SA-11 there. So that is going to be probably the next mission. It sounds like that's going to be what we're going to have to do. And then it looks like this thing is making a bunch of different player slots, which we don't need. So not 100% certain. It was kind of a bummer. Um, still fighting with uh, my USB ports to work appropriately. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, we'll investigate and we'll see you guys next time on the 29th mission of uh, Syria War Campaign. So thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.